What's up all you real beast magic pad here and I got another little quick video for you So we uh, been working on our leaders for the last couple of years I've been using them on and off fishing trips for catfish Redfish just just about anything that you can catch on a circle hook uh, We started out just trying to find a leader that would help you You know keep from losing so many fish my local river is a very shallow river up where I fish at and for years, uh, using the standard setups that most people use for catfish and just a, uh, I can't remember what you call it. It's like a, um, like a knocker rig, basically, and then a uh, fish finder rig. Um, most of the time, people just put a weight up above a swivel, which runs down the leader to the hook, which is the fish finder rig. Um, but you get caught up so much down here that you would lose either the weight, the hook, and your leader or you would hook a really good fish and get hung up and you would lose the fish the weight and the leader um so after about i don't know two or three years of hooking good fish and losing them in my local river here i started looking into other ways of fishing so I, you know i do a lot of saltwater fishing that used to be just about the only thing i would do and so deep sea fishing i noticed that they did uh dropper loops and they would do what they call chicken rigs. So it's basically, basically a line, a loop with a hook on it, then, you know, more, another loop and hook. And I thought about it and was like, you know, that would probably be a good idea if I put a swivel on the bottom with a string to a weight, it would keep the hook up above the rocks. And if I get a good fish and it got hung up, it would break and lose the weight, not the fish. And that's where the idea for our leaders came from. Uh, and I've been testing them now, like actually testing what I would feel like is a good leader to use for probably two years now, three years. Um, it's went through a whole lot of evolution. Like when it first started out, it was very basic. I used my main line. I'd put a loop with a hook and then it would just go down to a weight. Um, and that worked for a little while. I didn't, I wouldn't tie a very good knot on the weight. So if it got hung up, it would just kind of pull loose. But sometimes the knot was cinched down and you would still lose it. So that's when I started with the swivel and the line. Just kind of testing it out, seeing what would happen, you know, what works best. And uh, I started finding that I did lose a lot of weights. You know, I try, started using other things other than the lead because I lost so many weights. But I started catching more fish. My fish quit getting away. They quit getting hung up on the rocks. They quit breaking the line. They would be up above. Most of the time, they were already strike my bait because it's up above the weight. It's up in the water column. It's already got them up off the bottom a little ways. So they have to kind of fight to get back down to the actual bottom where all the rocks are. So it's already kind of a win-win. You've got the fish up away from the structure a little bit. It's easier to pull him the rest of the way out. Um, so when it first started out, when I started making them, they were hand-tied which is great. I have no problem with them. They've done good for years. Um, if you didn't pay attention or if you were rushing, you would get the dreaded curly cue of death in the line where you your line actually did not pulled loose and you get that little, little pigtail was what it looks like, just a curly little piece of line where it untied. You know, that's like the worst thing in the world to see on your line is that you mistied something. Um, our newest one that I've been testing out for the last couple of months, about six months now, um, I crimp them. It makes it easier. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. So this here is the new leader that we make. This is what's been catching my good catfish. So as you can see, you've got a swivel on one end, you got a swivel on the other end, and then you've got your loop with the hook in the middle. Um, I was doing different sized uh, swivels, like the bigger swivel up top for your main line and then a smaller swivel on the bottom to tie for your weight. But then it ended up just being easier using the same size swivel. It doesn't really matter if I tie to this side or this side. The loop strength right here is always the same. Um, so and one of the other things that we also did was when you put this on here, you're basically putting a loop over the hook. Sometimes when the fish would pull and then roll, because you know catfish love to roll. 
these loops on here would actually come back up off the hook. It didn't happen very often. It probably happened once out of every like 500 fish. Um, which I mean, I know that's kind of a, it's a little bit of an exaggeration, but it's not too far off. I have caught a ton of fish because I've fished this same type of rig with smaller hooks, smaller line from everything from whiting and pompano all the way up to big catfish. This is just a good setup. Of course, obviously this one right here is my big catfish. This is an 11 knot demon perfect circle hook. And, um, to help with that loop coming off, we put right here a uh, sleeve. This is actually a deep drop sleeve. You use these for whenever you do those chicken rigs I was talking about. They glow in the dark and it helps the fish find the bait better. Now, I don't necessarily think that the catfish find this better, but it does help with a light source. One of the things I like is when you're reeling a fish in at night, you can see this green light underwater. It gives you kind of an idea of where your fish is at. So this is the new setup. I've caught several good fish with uh, Joe from Chat Cats, and I actually am going on another trip with him here in a couple of days. We're gonna go back out there to the river, and I'm actually gonna try to catch a really big catfish. He, uh, I've already talked to him. We're gonna take some of these leaders out here, and we're gonna test them out. We're gonna put them on several of the rods. Uh, basically, this is a go big or go home trip. We're only using big baits, uh, we're not fishing for tiny fish. We're using like basically whole or half of a whole skipjack, uh, skipjack, getting tongue tied. Um, skipjack, y'all seen in other videos are pretty big fish. They can get all the way up to like three pounds. Uh, a lot of times whenever I catfish, I use huge baits because it helps keep smaller catfish off. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using setups like this, this huge 11 on hook with that really wide gap right there. We're gonna put whole skipjack down, half of a skipjack, and we're just gonna try to catch something. If we catch anything over 30 pounds, I'm gonna count it as a win, but deep down, I'm actually hoping for something in the 60 pound range. It's been a long time since I've caught a catfish that big. Um, I would really like to make that happen this weekend, and I'm really hoping to do it on this leader. I'm actually gonna be testing these leaders out in a lot of other places. I'm gonna take this exact leader here and I'm gonna go fishing for redfish with them. Uh, I actually wanna to try to go grouper fishing. Like, I'm gonna try everything I possibly can to break these leaders. I wanna see what they can and cannot do. We crimp them now. It just, it makes it simpler. Uh, it's quicker. And I believe it's a stronger connection. You don't have to worry about the knot coming undone on this. This is crimped down. Um, I've lifted up 30 pound dumbbells with this. This is 80 pound line. We're going to do a lot more testing with these. You're going to see more videos of these being used. Um, hopefully, after all the testing is done, if these work out as good as I'm hoping they do, this is going to be one of the things that we're going to possibly sell for everybody. If you want to get some, you know, you can order through us. I can make them. Like, I make all of my equipment, or most of my equipment. I can't say all yet, but... Um, I make all of these with quality line. Like I use top, <laughs> top of the line line. Um, just basically the same stuff that I saltwater fish with is what I fish with catfish for. You know, if you've ever hooked into a giant catfish, you know they actually fight harder. You think a catfish is a lazy animal, but a giant blue cat, they fight hard. They feel like they belong in saltwater. I'm actually going to show real quick. Um, these clips that you're about to see or are should be going on right now uh, this is a good list of catfish that we have caught on our leaders you can see right here that we caught several of the big catfish off the dock uh, using the leader it was a more primitive version of it we didn't quite have all the stuff that we did um, you can see we caught some of these bigger catfish off of the, the boat with Joe, which that one is a newer version. That's one of the ones that you see right here. Uh, we caught a eight pounder just fishing straight up and down, which is not a big catfish. So, you know, that leader should have handled it anyway. But then the other one was that 24 pounder that I hooked right up underneath that train trestle, uh, which that was a crazy fight because he was hung up and dragging across the rocks and the leader came out like perfectly 
fine. There was no scrapes or nothing. You know, that line is really good line. So, this is a good show of what the leader can do. And I'm hoping that it'll continue to perform this same way. So, AMAC and old Broken Pole Joe, they're working on getting our website up. Uh, we're about to have our online store. Um, you know, all of our t-shirts, th these leaders, things like that. Hopefully in the future, some of our custom rods... Uh, we can sell them all online. If y'all want some of those, you can order, and we can get these out to you. But uh, for now, I'm still doing a lot of testing on these. And so far, I haven't had any problem, just to be honest. Like, I've hooked some pretty big cats on here. Uh, I don't think I've lost, but, like, maybe one. They just come off the hook. They didn't, they didn't get the bait really good, um, which that was my fault. I had to figure out a different way to hook the bait, um, just because these hooks are not as wide as the team catfish hooks that we used to use. Um, but I feel like I get a better hookup ratio with these and I don't, I don't gut hook them as much like that. Just that slight off turn. Um, I feel like a lot of times it just gets hung up in the wrong place on a catfish. So these are really good hooks. I caught a good one just about maybe two months ago up there. Uh, no problem. You know, I fish all of my reels with basically their drag maxed out. I want as much pressure as I can on them so I can really test them. Um, that's it. Uh, anyway, you will see whatever happens with Joe up there on our trip. You know, I'll post it up whether we catch them or we don't. Like I said, this is a go big or go home kind of situation. So we'll catch y'all back out on the river. Peace.